Komal. Welcome back to my channel. Wow, it feels like I'm doing a video after like 100 years. It's been a month. I think I'm posting a video after a month. So here I am. Um, I also posted a picture on my Instagram and I also did this uh, Q&A thing on my Instagram, on my stories. And oh my God, so many questions. So thank you so much for taking out time and um, sending in all your questions. So now I will not time waste more time. Let's just dive into it. Now the first question that I think I should answer and you guys deserve an answer is why do you not post on YouTube uh, as often as you do on Instagram? Okay, I'm going to be completely honest with all of you all. Um, right now I'm in a phase in my life where um, uh, I have struggled a lot with my mental health. I've gone through therapy and uh, the only salvation really I had was my work, uh, which still is to be honest. Um, so, uh, off late because of all the negativity and the hatred that I've received on YouTube was kind of taking a toll on my mental health, which was getting back to its uh, normal state after a very long time. But if there's something that I've learned in my 25 years is that nothing, nothing, nothing comes before my mental health and the comments was, was kind of affecting me. Um, it was always running in the back of my head. So I thought, okay, it's time maybe for me to kind of, uh, you know, gain a new perspective, take a break from it. Of course, there's, I think there's some kind of disconnect between me and you guys, which I'm back again. Uh, I'll try to kind of bridge the gap between uh, us and let's see how it goes. So uh, just that and um, one, all, one disclaimer that I'd like to give you guys is that I might disable the comments for the next four to five videos on my channel because this is just not something that I'd like to subject myself at least for some time because right now I'm I'm work in progress right now I'm in a process where that I take out time especially and consciously for my mental health so yeah that's that okay okay now another question that I have it's actually a very cute question um are you happy with your life wow um okay uh yes i am right now in my life very very happy um i wasn't very happy i think a couple of not even a couple of months ago i think a couple of weeks ago up until like two months ago i guess um wasn't in the most ecstatic state of mind but like i said i'm work in progress i'm getting there and i'm getting there speedily uh, by God's grace, thank God. So yes, I am happy uh, with my life right now. Um, I do have a lot of dreams and aspirations and I am working towards it. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with my life right now. Any plans on moving to Mumbai for work? No man, not at all. I've been living in Delhi for the past 16 years now and I honestly feel as much as I hate Delhi sometimes, it really runs in my system. I think sometimes it's like a toxic relationship. But uh, no, not really. I don't think I, if, if I have to move out of India, then yeah, of course, I, there are so many other places I'd like to live uh, in. But uh, in India, I only see myself living in Delhi. I love Bombay, but Bombay is a little, it's like a tad bit too fast for me, if you know what I mean. Um, though I think Bombay uh, cab drivers and Bombay people are the best people in the cab drivers. Oh my God, they're amazing. They're so well spoken. Um, but yeah, like Delhi really runs in my blood. No, not moving out. What advice would you like to give your teenage self? That's a very interesting question. Uh, advice, to nahi pata mujhe, but uh, ab ke mujhe realize hota hai ki I think as a teenager, I never loved myself enough, which is why right now I'm struggling to getting back to love, you know, getting back to loving myself unconditionally. Um, and because it could not happen in my childhood years and in my teenage years, it's way more tough for me to reprogram my mind right now because um, it's it's a process and the uh, the more you grow older these things take a lot of time so i will like to go back to my teenage self say nothing do nothing but just give her a tight 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 hug that's all i just like to do to her because i think i think that that's what lacked in my teenage years i never loved myself because i i felt like i wasn't loved and uh, so yeah, I just go back and give her a big hug is what I do. Don't you think you should get more relatable and wear less makeup? No offense to you for doing whatever you've been doing till now. Well, of course, none taken. Um, and I get your point, but uh, you know what? Um, I love, love, love makeup. 
and I have been makeup shamed I think since school. I have always been this person who has always been ahead of times. You know like in school when you weren't even allowed to put like nail paint or like even kajal like on your upper lash line. Um, I would find ways to kind of pretty up my face. So I, I, I come from that place. Like I would ev I would always make sure that I wake up early. And this is in my, during my school days. I would wake up early. I would do my hair nicely. You know, I would smother my lower lash line with a lot of kajal. So I've always been that girl who likes to kind of indulge in, you know, just uh, makeup and like things related to makeup and beauty. And then in college, when you're suddenly given freedom, more freedom to kind of, you know, dip your feet into more makeup and beauty. Um, I started wearing BB cream. While this is back in the day, like in 2012 or 13, up to of course, like it's because of the advent of YouTube and whatnot. Everybody is doing everything which really warms my heart. But back in the day, uh, I used to have a full face of makeup in college with like BB cream, blush, mascara, everything. And that time also I was shamed in college for wearing too much makeup. But I think... I've always been doing myself and I love doing it and my friends, the handful of friends that I have really understand that about me and they love me for it and I don't want to change that about myself because if I do then, the, then I'm not being myself. So in order to be relatable, I don't want to lose and I don't want to lose touch with my individual self if that's making any sense to you. So yeah. Makeup to nahi wala hai. I love makeup. <laughs> How do you see yourself 30 years from today? Ooh, I've never thought about it. Uh, 30 years from now, I'll be 56. Wow. Um, probably uh, chilling with uh, chilling on the couch, watching, not watching, hopefully not watching an Indian soap, <laughs> um, but watching something really cool on Netflix with a uh, uh, with my kid and um, and my partner and yeah that's it and like eating something nice that's all I want like just having like a warm cozy house and a family nothing big really that's all I want yeah can you share your diet chart with me I wanna I want to have a figure like yours please tell no I don't have a diet chart per se and um, what I do uh, in order to stay in shape, is I just avoid junk food. I mean, junk food is a very I don't, I just avoid, like I don't even look, I don't even think about junk food. And I don't curb myself from that kind of food because I don't desire that food so much, if you know what I mean. Like I don't crave for it. I don't consume sugar. In case, instead of sugar, I take jaggery. But recently I've actually switched to coconut sugar because I've heard it's better than jaggery. And apart from that, I don't consume milk because milk, uh, I realized that milk was causing a lot of bloating uh, around my tummy area, so I avoid milk and that's it. But ghar ka khana, I try to take a lot of green vegetables in a day. Like <clears throat> I feel extremely guilty if I don't eat even one single vegetable in a day. So I try to do that. I love leafy vegetables. I always, I also like if I'm getting hunger pangs, I avoid eating chips and processed food. Instead of that, I try eating nuts. <clears throat> Again, incredible for your skin and um, it's the kind of fat that will do good to your body so yeah that's it really nothing major just simple stuff and i work out i work out so i used to work out uh, initially two days three days a week but now i've switched to five days a week for the past three months so i work out five days a week and i love doing it now like the day i don't work out i feel i feel lousy i, I get cranky so it's sort of become a part of my lifestyle and thank God it did because when I had just started working out, I was like, I was worried like I was shitting my pants thinking that oh my God, will I be able to stick to this lifestyle because I have never worked out in my life for the past, like in my 24 years. It's just when I turned 25 that I started working out. But uh, thank God, I love doing it now. I enjoy it. Of course, I have days when I don't feel like doing it. But um, yeah, just eating clean and working out, that's all. Who is your fashion role model? Ooh, um, Alexa Chung. Uh, not many people know about it, but I have been a silent follower of Alexa Chung, I think for the past two years now, not very long. And before that, um, I did not, like I had a lot of favorites, but 
nobody per se who I would look up to and like wake up and be like, okay, this is who this is who I would want to be like when I grow up. But now, even though I'm 25, I'm pretty much grown up. But when I grow up, I would love to be like Alex Ashram. I think she is incredible. Like she's an epitome of ultimate grace, elegance, and um, she's an entrepreneur and she's a philanthropist. Everything that I would I could dream of becoming. So um, yeah, she's aspirational. She is um, a great person. She's beautiful and uh, she's strong. And I'd love to be like her. And she's my ultimate role model. Uh, fashion also because um, I love her style. It's something that I relate to um, to a very high degree. She's very clean, minimalistic, chic, sharp, just the way I like it. Um, so yeah. Okay. What do you do when you are mentally exhausted? Do you go out and be with your loved ones? Or do you like to spend time with yourself and do things that you like? Okay. So for the longest time, I have been the kind of person when I'm mentally exhausted or I'm mentally not having a very uh, cheerful time, I like myself to surround, like I like to surround myself with people. And I've been like this for the longest time. But I think for the past one year, very recently, I like doing the exact opposite if I'm mentally exhausted and if I'm not feeling well mentally. I like spending time with myself and I think it's an incredible um, uh, change that has happened because uh, this just implies that I'm like a step closer to loving myself and loving my company because um, the journey to self-love is complicated, long and uh, when you like spending time with yourself, you know that you're like a step closer to self-love. So I love uh, that <clears throat> I like spending time with myself now. So yes, when I'm mentally exhausted, I honestly just feel like going to my bedroom and being in my bed. And I don't like people around me. At least for some time, I don't. Um, but yeah, there are days when I want to like go out and uh, I want to meet my friends. I want to meet like my best friend. Uh, I have those days as well. But for now, right now, in this time, uh, I like being alone. Yeah. Okay, so this is my last question. What's that one thing or one thought that keeps you going during the tough phase of your life? Love you. Well, lots of love to you too. Um, lot of things. But if I have to say one thing that keeps me going is my, um, it's my ambition, I guess. Like for me, it's very, very important to wake up with a purpose. For me, it's very important to be driven, to be ambitious. And it's also very important for me to surround myself with people who are equally ambitious and driven because I'm also a firm believer of the fact that you're a sum total, you're like you're an average, you're a package of an average of five people around you. So it's very important that you surround yourself with people who are as ambitious and as driven as you and as goal oriented as you. So um, just my goals and ambition, um, no matter how sad I am, it's very important for me to work towards my ambition my goals so i think that's what keeps me going uh so the moment you find your passion i guess you would know what to do and believe me all of us are born with a passion you just need to find it just doing something that makes me happy and in my case fortunately it's my work uh so yeah and that's it for this video i really hope you guys had fun uh this was kind of uh, cathartic like therapeutic for me and I just want you to come to my channel have fun and go back that's it I don't want you to come to my channel hate on me and then you know like kind of ruin your mood as well and ruin my mood as well so let's just have fun be positive spread good vibes and um, I'll see you soon with a fashion video and um, thank you so much for sticking around where I think I don't even know how many subscribers I'm at right now but it's incredible I know there's more than 800k of you um and no matter how much I say it, I'm extremely, extremely grateful. And let's make it to 1 million very soon. I'll see you soon. Bye.